Ever notice random frame time spikes or micro stutters that seem to come out of nowhere, even when your CPU and GPU usage look totally fine? What if I told you that the real culprit could be something invisible? Hidden sensor drivers. These are low-level drivers used by Windows and hardware monitoring tools to constantly pull temperatures, voltages, and fan speeds. Sounds harmless, right? The problem is, every time a sensor is read, it creates an interrupt. Multiply that across dozens of sensors being pulled multiple times per second, and suddenly your CPU is spending time answering what's my temperature instead of rendering frames. Today, I'll show you how to disable hidden sensor drivers, stop unnecessary polling, apply registry and command tweaks, and free your CPU from this silent performance killer. Let's get started. Step 1. Identify the sensor drivers running. Before we start disabling anything, it's important to first check what sensor-related drivers are actually active on your system. Here's how you do that. Press Win plus X, then click on Device Manager. Once Device Manager is open, expand the following categories. System Devices, Sensors, and Human Interface Devices. Under these sections, you'll probably spot entries like Intel Dynamic Tuning Processor Participant, Intel Energy Management, ACPI Thermal Zone, Windows Sensor Framework Drivers. These types of drivers typically aren't essential for gaming performance. They're usually there for things like system diagnostics, power management tools from your device's manufacturer, or background monitoring features. To get a clearer picture of whether these are actually impacting your CPU in real time, let's dig a little deeper. Open Task Manager, go to the Performance tab, and click Open Resource Monitor at the bottom or top. Once you're in Resource Monitor, go to the CPU section and take a look at which processes are using resources. Keep an eye out for anything like SensorService.exe, IASTOR Data Manager Service, third-party monitoring apps such as HW Monitor, HW Info, or MSI Afterburner, especially when sensor polling is active. These processes can generate consistent background CPU activity even when you're not doing anything demanding, which is something we want to avoid for a cleaner, more optimized gaming experience. By identifying these early, you'll know exactly what's running and what can safely be disabled later on. Step two, disable hidden sensor drivers via device manager. Now that we've identified what's running, it's time to disable the unnecessary ones to help reduce background CPU load. Go back into Device Manager if you've closed it. From there, carefully scroll through the device list and look for the sensor-related entries we mentioned earlier. Here's what you should do. Right-click and disable the following. Microsoft ACPI Thermal Zone. This one often causes unnecessary background polling. Disabling it is safe because your system will still manage CPU thermals through BIOS or firmware level protections. Intel Dynamic Tuning, or IDPTF, Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework. These are commonly found on laptops and are notorious for aggressive thermal and power throttling. If you're trying to get more consistent performance, especially in games or intensive tasks, disabling them can make a noticeable difference. More things like Microsoft Hypervisor Service or Microsoft Hyper-V Virtualization Infrastructure Driver. If you don't run VMs, WSL2 or Sandbox, disable this. It can hurt latency. NDIS Virtual Network Adapter Enumerator. Legacy networking layer, rarely needed. As a rule of thumb, do not disable anything critical like your GPU, chipset, network adapter, or storage controllers. Stick only to devices that clearly relate to sensors, telemetry, or power management. Once you've done that, you may not need to reboot, but it's a good idea to restart your system to make sure the changes take full effect. 
On many systems, especially laptops, you'll notice an immediate drop in background CPU activity. It won't fix every issue, but it's a strong step toward a cleaner, less throttled performance environment. Step 3. Disable Sensor Service and WMI Polling Even after disabling sensor drivers, Windows still runs background services that regularly ping those sensors. These include the built-in Sensor Service and WMI, Windows Management Instrumentation, both of which can cause unnecessary CPU usage, especially if you're not using any monitoring tools. Let's shut those down next. A. Disable Sensor Service this service manages built-in sensors like ambient light, motion, and location. It's not required for gaming or general use. Press Win plus R, type services.msc, and hit Enter. In the Services window, scroll down and find Sensor Service. Right-click on it, select Properties. Under Startup Type, choose Disabled from the drop-down. Click Stop if the service is currently running. Hit Apply and OK to confirm. Disabling this stops Windows from interacting with any of the remaining sensor infrastructure. B. Kill WMI Constant Polling WMI is a Windows component that collects system info and performance data, including sensor-related data, even if you're not actively monitoring anything. We'll stop the WMI Performance Adapter service and set it to only run when manually needed. Do this. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, right-click Start, Command Prompt, Admin, or Windows Terminal Admin, run the following two commands one after the other. The first command changes the WMI APSRV, WMI Performance Adapter Startup Type, to Manual. The second one stops it immediately if it's currently running. This change ensures the service won't auto-start with Windows and won't run unless explicitly called by something. Tip: If you don't use hardware monitoring apps like HWinfo, MSI Afterburner, or Task Manager's Sensor Graphs 24-7. Disabling these services helps keep your system quieter in the background. It's one of the easiest ways to reduce unnecessary polling and random CPU spikes. Step 4. Registry Tweaks to Stop Sensor Event Logging Some sensor drivers also log constantly through ETW and ACPI. Let's cut that out. Open Reg Edit. Navigate here. Modify these D word values. Start equals 4. Disabled. Next, go here. Set start equals 3. Manual. Finally, to reduce ACPI polling overhead, create a new D word. Enable ACPI monitoring equals zero. These tweaks stop Windows from automatically logging or polling sensor events in the background. Step 5. Advanced. Control monitoring apps, HW Info, Afterburner, etc. Even if you disable Windows' own drivers, third-party apps like HW Monitor, HW Info, Corsair IQ, or Asus Armory Crate can still hammer your CPU with sensor reads. Here's how to stop them from causing latency. If you use something like HW Info, go to Settings, Polling Period, and increase from 500 milliseconds to 2000 milliseconds. This reduces how often it queries sensors. In MSI Afterburner, disable monitoring of unnecessary sensors, voltages, fan speeds you don't care about. Keep only core temp, GPU usage, and FPS if needed. For Corsair IQ or Armory Crate, turn off background monitoring modules if you don't need RGB tied to temps. Rule of thumb, the fewer sensors being pulled per second, the fewer CPU interrupts and stutters you'll experience. And that's it. You've just disabled the hidden sensor drivers and stopped CPU spikes caused by constant monitoring. We started by identifying active sensor drivers, disabling unnecessary ones, shutting down Windows sensor service and WMI polling, applying registry tweaks to stop sensor event logging, and finally, fine-tuning third-party apps so they don't overload your CPU. The result? Lower background CPU usage, fewer DPC spikes, reduced stutter in games, 
and a smoother, more consistent gaming experience. Remember, monitoring tools are great when you need them, but running them 24-7 while gaming can actually hurt performance more than it helps. If this video helped you, smash that like button, drop your results in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dive optimizations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.